Let's get into it. Part two, the actual flight with the TX-10 controller. First time ever, we're gonna power on the controller, power on the drone. It's the X8SE 2022, okay? First time with the flight. You sat through that whole video, hopefully, learned all about it. Let's see it in action, okay? Let's turn on the controller first and I'll do a screen recording of the controller throughout the whole thing, but I've got a wireless mic to the camera because the mic on here isn't that great. I could connect the mic to the actual controller, but I don't have one with a short wire. All I have is a big long thing. So let's get this thing flying. Let's get it up in the air. Okay, just to show you, I found something else out here. I put it on adaptive brightness. And as we can look at this, we scroll down, it's at in the middle there, okay? And no matter where I go, it doesn't get any brighter. Here in the bright sun there, nothing changes. Nothing changes. So adaptive brightness doesn't seem to do anything. I don't see it going higher or lower. I don't see it varying anywhere, okay? And I do have adaptive brightness turned on. Display. Adaptive brightness. It's turned on. Your screen brightness will automatically adjust. Well, I'm just gonna walk around here. Okay, into the bright, bright sunlight. No, didn't change. And if I go and look at this here, I'll go around in here and it doesn't go anything, it doesn't move anywhere. Direct sunlight doesn't move anywhere. I'll come into the shade, doesn't move anywhere, okay? So for whatever reason, I have to manually go in and if I zap it up, see it goes really, really bright. So. Adaptive brightness, maybe that's something that's coming. Okay, let's stop that video. Here we have it. Okay, we played around with the adaptive brightness. Functionality, hmm, doesn't work. Okay, so we're gonna do it manually, okay? So we're gonna swipe down. We've got it running here. Swipe down again, and if we move this up, you can see it gets really, really bright, okay? So that's 100%. So let's go about yeah, we'll go 100% and see what happens. Okay. It's nice and bright. Okay. There we go. It's supposed to be a thousand nits. Okay. Let's turn on the drone. The drone started up. I heard the beeps. I've got my microphone working here. I've got the screen recorder going. Let's go in there. Let's start the app. Now this is so much easier than playing around with that accordion and all the cables. And we just have to enter. And click OK. And we have a screen. Now that might be a little bit too bright. To see anything. So let's go down and adjust that screen a little bit. Maybe there. Okay. I can't see how many satellites I have. It's in Addy mode. We're just waiting for satellites, I presume. Let's see how long it takes to get satellites. I can fly in VPU mode. I've got good battery. It says the gimbal's not ready yet. Okay, the gimbal should be ready now. Let's try this gimbal up here. Yep, gimbal's ready. I just have to wait for satellites. There we have satellites. GPS mode in normal. I have the selector in normal. Okay, remember C2 and the scroll wheel here is zoom. 
This is the gimbal. This three-way switch here is not available for modification. This switch here is, I assume, is just for the version 2 model, okay? Because in the bottom here, you don't see anything to do with the mechanism that's involved with the version 2. So this is version 1, the Gray Edition 2022 X8SE. Okay, so let's see if this button here is an automatic takeoff. Press once. No, press and hold. No, it doesn't have an automatic takeoff on a button. That might be something to ask Femi about. That would be very good. Automatic, boom, gone. Maybe there's another way of doing it. I'll have to look into that. Okay, press that. Up it goes. It's going to go up to four meters. And bring it down. There we go. Yeah, there it is. And this is the screen. As you can see, there's the screen there. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, for me, it's pretty good. It's adaptive. Well, let's pump it up to 100. There's 100. There it is. Very bright. Very bright for me. I can see it anywhere. I'm going to walk into the sun. Okay. Uh, over here. See if I can see it. No problem. I'm in the sun. Yeah, I can see wonderfully. It's, it's phenomenal. Okay. What do we have for... There we go. Uh, we've got 12 meters per second. Let's get back into here. Just going over some of the settings here. We've got 12 meters per second. No limit on the flight. 120 meters high. Return to home is 50. Return to home on a fail safe. Don't need precision landing. Okay, camera. We've got don't have to calibrate anything yet. Nothing yet. Remote. Boom, 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 boom. No, that's the remote. Gimbal. Okay. Image transmission, 2.4. Battery. Okay, great. Now, where is... Oh, down here. There we go. So we're on 1080p 30. Hello. Okay. And we've got, what's this down here? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. So it's at the bottom here. It's at the bottom, not up at the top. Okay. We have video. We have medium. We want high. And center, center, I want metering on average. So I like that. We're 1080p. So let's go up and take a little picture. Or a video. Okay, there we go. And we're going to go out of frame here. There we go. And up it goes. Let's see how high we can go. Beautiful sky. Okay, if we just click that button there for record, it starts to record. Very good. Let's go up a little higher. We're only up at, ooh, we're hard to see, but not really when it's so bright. So let's go up to, twenty. We'll go up to forty-five. Oh, maybe 55. It's a beautiful day, 55 or 60, there we go. Bring that camera down a little bit.
Okay, turn it this way and we'll head out towards that lake. Just on a little video. We don't want to go too fast, but we have 12 meters per second, but we don't want to go 12 meters per second. Hard to see because it's in the white sky up there, but anyway. Can we bring that down a little bit more? There we go. Beautiful. So I just want to go out about 500 meters or so. It's a beautiful picture. It is a very beautiful picture. Okay. And we're out about 400 meters or so. There we go. Now we're going to try to return to home. Just pushing this button here once. Hold maybe. There we go. You have to hold the button. Now, if I push pause, what happens? Let's try a pause button. It's coming back. Let's try pause. Okay, so let's try home again. Long press. It's returning home. And if I press it one more time, it cancels it. So the pause and the home cancels it one click. Pause is, I think, more for the waypoint missions. Okay, so let's go back. There we go, return to home. So it's coming home, okay? This is so much easier. I do have a little tripod -y thing on here, okay? If I want to, I can hold it, okay? But my little tripod thing is great with a uh, GoPro uh, universal on the bottom. It's coming back. I, I will admit this screen is phenomenal. Now I'm just gonna step out into the sun and see if I can see this. Yeah, I'm here and We'll just turn this a little bit. Okay, there we go. Maybe you can see me now. I'm in the direct sunlight, and no matter what, sun's coming down here, shining right at it. I can see exactly where it's going. Exactly. It's really, really bright. Very good. You know, no problems at all. Okay, I can't read the numbers. Now, if they were in black, it might be better, but uh, that's another issue. Maybe I'll mention that to Femi as well. Let's come back here. Okay, how are we doing there? Okay. Now, how close is it going to come? How close? It's coming down between the trees, so that's pretty good. This, so much easier, so much easier. Absolutely wonderful. And I don't know why Hubson hasn't come out with something like this, okay? It's, and it's not getting hot, and I do not feel the fan. I hear it, but I have to get really close to hear it. I feel no vibration in the hands at all. I'm just going to stop that about there. Okay, bring it over, and we're going to stop that video by pushing that. Stops the video. Awesome. I don't see what else we, we have to do here. Maybe we'll take a picture. Okay, we'll take a picture of all of us here. Let's switch it over. No. Nope. Okay, stop the video. No, nope, starts the video, it doesn't take a picture. Okay. So let's come up a bit. So that's another glitch. It does not take a picture. I'll push the picture button. Okay, stop the video. We have to physically push the picture button. Take a picture. It took a picture. What happens if I push the video button? It took another picture. So the only way you can get into this right now, you have to manually change it to video. And then this button up here just 
starts and stops video. So I have to mention that to Phoebe. Okay, but other than that, it's absolutely great. Absolutely great. Okay, let's bring it back and uh, land it. There we go. Turn it around, back it up. So there you have it. The Femi X8 SE 2022 with the TX10 controller. It's amazing. It really is good. A few little glitches, got to report that, but uh, very solid. Uh, I can hear the fan now, but I couldn't when it was operating, okay? And I did not notice any vibration whatsoever. Amazing. And this is only, let me put this down. <clears throat> this is on the original charge. And if you watch my other video, the first video, part one, I had a fully charged one. Now, okay, let's go hold this seat one button. Swipe up. We're at 63% on the battery of this, okay? And how long do you think it took me to make that long video, series of videos, okay? And it's still 63%, okay? So I would imagine you've got three or four hours easy of flying on one charge of this. It's, what can I say? It's uh, considering all the other ones that are out there, like the DJI remotes and that, $299, it's a bargain. A little bit pricey still for me, but uh, yeah, compared to what else is out there, it's a bargain. And if they do develop all the modules for it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something to be reckoned with. Okay, TX10 controller, Femi, X8 SE 2022 and 2022 version two. I'd say it's well worth it. If they came out with this and that as a package and sold it for $599, $629, they'd have an unbeatable package. Okay, till next time, take care, get out, get some fresh air, cut the grass. I know, I gotta do it. But uh, yeah, let me see what this looks like and uh, we'll get those questions off to Femi and get some answers for you. Okay, till next time, see you later.